Okay. Hi, good afternoon. So it's me again, your teacher, Mr. Orvin. Uh, there's a question here. You're going to record this class. Yes, I, I have done it. I am recording this so that those who are uh, not present right now, not currently joined, they can access this anytime. And you also, if you have a uh, uh, question or doubt, maybe you want to review, okay, you can watch this again uh, because uh, this is our class section one. Uh, is it correct? Section one. We are section one, right? Suha, this is section one, right? Suha Albatrani, are you there? Anybody? Anybody? Yes, sir. We are section two. No. Who's that? Adham, I miss you too. <laughs> Wait. Huh? Let me just clarify. Is this section two or section one? Yes. What year? Okay. This is section one. Yeah, okay, now we are section one. Yes, section one. Okay, I thought we are section. So again, advanced Excel section one, live session 25th of March uh, 2020. Now we are, uh, this is Wednesday. We started around 4.05, I was here. Okay, started the meeting, oh no, started to chat. And the meeting started maybe around 4, 10, 2 minutes ago. Okay, so again, this is recorded and this is for your reference if you have some questions. The purpose of this meeting is, number one, I need you to answer this survey on accessing online video. So if you're going to go to your uh, Moodle, let me share my screen. Okay, so go to your Moodle and then you're going to go to this week, 20, 19 March 20 to 25 March. So just click on survey, survey on accessing online video lessons. So if you have friends which belongs to uh, our class or also taking advanced Excel, just remind them there is something that I need to ask. So it's just three questions. It will not even take one minute. So I have uh, 12 students who already attempted. So thank you very much for those who attempted. For the others, I'm giving you still until tonight. So please try to access Moodle and just answer those three questions as simple as that. Now, there will be other students um, who don't have an access or still not currently in this meeting. So if you know anybody in our class, just send them a message that, oh, Mr. Orvin have a survey question there. So please answer it. He requires everybody, everybody to answer the questions or the survey questions. Okay, so that's the first agenda, just to remind you. So ex uh, I extended the time or uh, the deadline for that uh, questions to be answered. Okay, so another thing that we have to discuss here is that if you have any question on the exercises, I'm going to share again the exercise screen. So this is exercise two. Do you have any question? I'm going to wait for a, a question. If there is clarification, you can raise your hand. Okay. And then 
Hi, I can allow you to speak if you want. Anybody? Exercise two. If not exercise two, exercise three. If not exercise three, the lessons, the previous lessons that we have. Okay, so we have finished two lessons. Uh, and then later on, I'm going to upload the third one, the first part of the third one. Okay, there are two topics in lesson number three about charts, the basic charts and the advanced charts. I have a question, Al-Gaida. Al-Gaida, uh, is it okay for me to uh, put on your mic? I need somebody to talk here and uh, be recorded because uh, I need you to... Can you... Sorry, sorry, so I'm back, I'm back. Hi everybody, I'm sorry I did some mistakes. <laughs> so can you see me, can you see me now? Hi. Please acknowledge, can you see me now? I'll guide them. I'm gonna come back to your question. So just let's, Go back to our session. Uh, 
Okay, so just give me a minute here. Okay, hi, after some time, I uh, troubleshooted what happened. So I, I accidentally clicked on some of the buttons and now I'm back. Let's go to the question of Al Gaida. Okay, let's go back to the question. Ah, uh, okay. Yes, section one. I have a uh, Question Al Gaida in last column about OMR. It should be OMR, but it is Euro. I cannot. What happened? Okay, I think you have a question about the, the, the currency or the reals. Okay, let's share the screen for this. Okay, exercise two, the screen here, uh, for example, nine, if I put only nine and I have done, you can see that my uh, my symbol here is actually Omani Rias already. How did I do that? Because here, if you're going to see the number form, and by the way, it's in, um, I think in my live session, that's uh, Monday. So if you have, uh, watch that session I explain that if not then it's okay I'm going to explain again uh, so here in the account uh, the number group of the home tab just click here and then click more number formats you must see here format cells category you have to choose accounting you can choose currency but it's going to be different uh, in the format so what I know I used there is the accounting currency and then change the euro euro is here somewhere here okay you change that to OMR I hope you are seeing that and press OK so in, uh, the euro will now change to OMR so again accounting category and then symbol change this to OMR. You can also click by the way the the launcher. Okay, dialog box launch launcher, number format, category accounting, symbol or materials. Press OK. And all, all the cell must be materials. Okay. So any questions still, Al Gaida? Did I answer your question? Okay. So no means no question. Okay. So do we have still any question there? So let me just go back to that exercise two. So all you have to do is to put or copy your formula if it is in Euro and then copy, copy the other formula in CHF. CHF is Swiss, Franc or Francs. Uh, this is Switzerland. Uh, Euro is or Euro is the currency of Europe, uh, European nations. So anyway, even Switzerland is in Europe, they have their own currency. Uh, so just when you have a formula, you copy that all throughout. Okay, and then each table, you have to compute for the total. And then another table here, another table here, another table here. And lastly, you compute all 
the subtotal as the total expenses for all. Okay, multiplication table, again, just to remind, uh, just one formula that you're going to type here in this C5, and then when I copy that to the right, and I copy it down, then it should be applicable to all. Then you're gonna get the uh, uh, solution, okay? Like nine plus nine, nine multiplied to nine must be answered as 81, okay? So, but to get that, I need that same formula that you use here, okay? So only one formula, remember that. Now for the salary calculation, calculation, you need the net salary for all the staff, uh, for all the names here. This is the computation net salary, is gross salary minus the deductions. Gross minus the deductions. The deductions are, okay, now you use absolute reference because the number 20% is already here. The 3% for the health insurance is already here. The 5% for the pension contribution is already here. So you have to use that in your formula. You have to refer to these cells, refer to the cells, and use absolute addressing so that when you copy that, it will not change. So that's it for exercise number two. Okay. So do you have any questions still? Exercise three is very easy also. Let me share that to you. Uh, again, it's like, uh, okay, the lessons that we have, all you have to do is change this uh, for number one. You have to modify the computation of grades by using absolute addressing. Number one, okay, yeah. So you have already a formula, uh, but here you have 80 instead of that having 80, and that's G5. So you have to refer to G5. Okay, then use absolute addressing, copy and paste. So same as the project, the midterm exam and the final exam equivalents. Okay, so you have to use the same formula. All you have to do is just change the formula to use absolute addressing or referencing. And finally, number two and number three, grades worksheet, summary worksheets. Grades worksheet is this one. Summary worksheet is this one. So insert a new worksheet, then filter those who failed in quiz. So you have to copy a new this grades worksheet to another worksheet. So how many times you're going to copy that? One, two, three, four. So you have to have an additional four worksheets here, which is the same as the grades or copy of the grades worksheet. Then you have to do whatever is the task. So for the first worksheet that you copy, you have to filter those who failed in the quiz. Okay, which quiz? Quiz. Here's the quiz. Okay, it didn't say each quizzes, so it said quiz. So that means uh, assuming that's the total quiz. So only one time. Okay, then just perform the other times. Okay, and then the summary worksheet, you have to copy it three times, three additional worksheets, and then you have to uh, sort. So according to the task. Okay, then addition and uh, what else? When you copy a worksheet, so when you copy, for example, a worksheet here, like grades worksheet, right click, move or copy, move to end, create a copy, you will have a copy here. Okay, so what I expect from you is that uh, since you are now in the bachelor, you have to change the worksheet name. So let's say, for example, this is task. Two, two A. Okay, so insert the new worksheet, then filter those who fail in this. This is task two A. So something like that. It depends on you how you rename, but it's very important that you rename because some of you, you just leave this like that. Copy class, go home. 
Okay, so that's not the correct way. So do you have any question? Any more question? Ask Jan. Is it okay to write in formula 0 0.0.5 instead of cell name 50%? Yes, but 50% is not 0 0.0.5, it's 0 0.5. Ah, okay. Now 0 0.5. Yes, it's fine. But why will you do that, by the way? It's already here, right? Let me share again. Um, the formula is there. 100 times 0 0.3. Done. Kalas. But if you use 0 0.5 or 0 0.3 or 0. Point whatever, so because of that, you have to multiply it by 100. Okay. So, by the way, where will you use the 0 0.5 or 50%? I don't have a 50% here. Go back. Um, let's chan exercise two. Ah, not exercise three. Where is it? Uh, which one has to use fifty percent? Ah, the last part, the 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 salary. Yes, you can use fifty percent or zero point five. Any of those two is correct. So, any more question? Ashjan, Al Gaida, Kalas. So, who are still here? I have 14 students out of 43. A lot of students are maybe tired. Maybe you have a lot of classes today, or maybe they slept. Okay, that's why it's very important for us to um, answer that survey because I need to know why some of you are not attending the live sessions. So, I can see your names here. That means, uh, yeah, I have only 14 students. So, do you have any more questions? As Jan, is this clear already? Your question. As Jan, hi. Okay. So it's still nice weather uh, during the night, still cold. Uh, uh, so hope you're enjoying the weather. But stay home. So if you have a rooftop, so just uh, feel the weather from your rooftop, not outside. If you have a space outside your house, it's fine, okay? But please do not gather more than five. I think it's not uh, allowed for at least four only is allowed. When you go to groceries, only one per family is allowed. Okay? So I hope you're missing Geotech. <laughs> and when this crisis is over, uh, you will uh, have that uh, uh, sense of importance for the university i mean like it also sucks when there is no uh we cannot meet here we cannot see each other although online classes have its advantages you can always play back the videos that's the advantage um and the advantage also is that uh you can do whatever you want while watching or like also when we are in live session i don't know what you're doing so you can just relax at home lie down while we're having class 
but don't sleep just lie down okay or eat okay or even ask your family or your brother sisters if they want to join you can join nobody can stop them or you okay so do we have any question if you don't have any question uh, you can say bye you can type bye from our meeting chat because I will end the conversation now if most of you will say bye or type bye hmm. can you still hear me nobody's typing in the chat Okay, as Jan said, bye. So, bye, as Jan. No questions. Suha, Al Gaida, bye. Aline, bye. Noor, Nauras, Aisha. Some of you were my students in IC3. I can still remember. Oh, Maliha is here. Hanin. So, I think most of you were my students in IC3. So, that's why. <laughs> okay, so I'm not sure. If you have a question, uh, just send me an email. Um, but if I cannot explain it in the in our in a true email, so you just wait for the next live session. Uh, probably it's gonna be the same schedule next week, Monday and Wednesday. So just one hour session uh, on those days and just wait for your questions um, to be fired there okay so that we have something to discuss okay but because i cannot discuss the whole lesson in a live session because it's gonna be a long video and it's gonna be difficult for me to edit the video and again to uh, upload the video so i am keeping this at least on a 30 minutes uh, live session okay so question email it to me if it is very urgent i can try to reply but if not just wait for the next live session anyway the exercises that i'm giving you is um uh i gave you an ample time um at least 14 days two weeks exercise 2 april 6 and then exercise 3 april 13. So I'm gonna upload new lesson uh, for the uh, lesson number three. The topic is charts uh, or graphs or in charts. Uh, the one that I'm going to upload is the basic and then another one that I'm going to record later is uh, the advanced, advanced charts. Okay, so with that, thank you very much. You already said bye. Now I'm going to say goodbye to all of you and have a nice day, have a nice weekend. Ciao. Take care. Huh? Take care.